Greetings, friends. Thanksgiving brings many special memories to me. My family around a table that was filled with food grown on our farm. And then later, my children and grandchildren around that same table enjoying the blessings of love and abundance that, to be honest with you, we probably took for granted. Other memories come to mind. That first Thanksgiving when immigrants from Europe came to this country and were welcomed and provided for by their Native American host. And of course, I think of Mary, Joseph, and the Christ child fleeing persecution and traveling across borders seeking safety and security. Today, I'm remembering immigrants and refugees who are fleeing bombing attacks across the Middle East and traveling into Europe. And I'm remembering those grieving at the loss of loved ones to senseless acts of violence, especially in Paris and Beirut last week. At times like these, it's easy to get trapped in our own fears, especially when those fears are fanned by political rhetoric from all sides. Dear friends, here's some important facts to remember. Since 9-11, 750,000 refugees have been settled here in the United States. Not one of them has been arrested for domestic terrorism. 98% of Syrian refugees are children and the elderly. This Thanksgiving, I also want to remember our calling as Christians to welcome the stranger, to see the face of God in the beloved. We have been invited to God's banquet, a place that has been set for us and out of gratitude, we extend an invitation to others to come and join us. There is a wonderful example of that invitation going on right now in the United Methodist Church in Germany, where thousands of refugees have fled seeking asylum. Bishop Rosemary Venner, a dear friend of mine, has shared stories of very small congregations in her conference that have opened their hearts and homes to their Syrian brothers and sisters. I want to share my conversation with her. Please visit our website at www.txcumc.org slash refugees to learn from Bishop Venner about what our United Methodist Church is doing in Germany. In addition, I ask that you open your hearts to help these refugees by donating to this cause. Your contributions will be shared equally between the United Methodist Committee on Relief, UMCOR, which directly assists people in refugee camps and also to the United Methodist Church in Germany, which is providing spiritual and physical support to refugees living there. Last of all, I ask that you pray for all those who are grieving the loss of loved ones this Thanksgiving, those who are grieving the loss of their homeland, and for those um, who seek to serve God by caring for God's children. May God bless you and your families this Thanksgiving holiday.